Hey everyone, Chris here with the video review for Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Now, Uncharted, the original game, is pretty much synonymous with the PlayStation 3. If you buy a PS3, you're going to get Uncharted. And I am very, very happy to say that Uncharted 2 Among Thieves is an absolutely phenomenal successor to the original game. This game basically picks up uh, about a year later after the first game. Uh, you know, Nathan Drake is, uh, of course, on the scene again. Sully's back. Elena's back. And what's really cool about this game is it's basically a globe-trotting adventure instead of just being stuck on an island. Nate is going around to find um, Marco Polo. That leads him to going to find um, other treasures and other kinds of stuff that I'm not going to spoil for you. But uh, this is a much bigger experience than the first game uh, with a very well-told story and fantastic action all around. Chloe, this isn't just a dagger. It's a key. Hmm. Well, let's find out what it opens. So as I mentioned, the story this time around is very well told. Um, the cutscenes obviously are great once again. They were fantastic in the first game. They're very well done here also. Uh, and once again, the voice acting is st uh, stellar. We have the same people from the first game uh, with an expanded cast. Everybody is great this time. What's your angle on all this misery? You gonna plunder a few temples, loot the museum? It's nice to see you too. The first game was, uh, and still to this day, uh, easily one of the best looking titles on the PlayStation 3 and Uncharted 2 looks even better. Uh, again, the first game still looks really, really good, but when you see this, it is mind-blowing in some of these scenes about how good it looks. The texture detail is phenomenal. You know, it's just a, a level of polish that is uh, practically unseen in games even today. One last thing that I do want to mention about the presentation for you fortune hunters out there is that, again, you can find treasures on the ground. Once you've beaten a chapter or at least gotten to it, you can choose anywhere that you want to go, so you can jump right back in there and find it, uh, which is really good for you fortune hunters. <laughs> The very good thing about the game is that since it doesn't take place solely on an island this time around, you're going to be in Nepal, you're going to have some street fights, you're going to be up in the mountains and snow, uh, you will of course you know, kind of go into like catacomb type stuff, but uh, there's a whole lot more variety here than we saw in the first game, which is really cool. There are multiple scenes in this game where the actual environment is moving around and changing as you're on it. Uh, there is a sequence that's on the train where you are fighting on it as it actually is moving through a level, and so as the train is kind of going around bends, you know, if there's an enemy on the next car, you have to kind of compensate for that. And so it kind of brings the whole experience up to this, you know, Hollywood level of $100 million blockbusters that, you know, you kind of rarely see that sort of thing in video games. Now, like the first game, there's three main gameplay things you're going to be doing. You're going to be shooting people, you're going to be climbing the environment, and you're going to be solving puzzles. In terms of shootouts, basically that works exactly the same as it was before. You can still take cover, but what's really cool is that the levels are set up to be much more vertical than they were before and to give you a lot more option in what you're going to do. The game is still very linear. You have to go to this very specific point. You, you know, there's not really a whole lot of uh, option in how you're going to kind of go around a thing, but when you are in a shootout, you can be, you know, I want to go to the roof or I want to go to the bottom or I want to hang from this thing or I want to kind of go around from the back and it, it, it creates this much more dynamic uh, feel to the fights than you had the first time. Now one thing that actually does help the fighting a lot is in the first game you could do you know lots of hand-to-hand -hand combat and that's a little more refined here but I'm not really gonna go into that but um, what is really cool is that you can use stealth a lot better in this game than you can the first one. So guys will still see you if you you know pop your head out but if you manage to sneak up on somebody you can take them down in a silent kill. You can yank them over walls or yank them over cover or whatever and take them out. The one bad part about the stealth is that early on in the game there is a segment where you can't be seen. You have to go through kind of stealth and uh, both myself and Greg Miller, when we played through these, we found it a little bit frustrating because there wasn't as much help beforehand telling you how to do certain things or exactly where to go. And that really is the only segment of the game where, um, you know, I kind of felt like, it, it, you know, it, it was kind of misstepping or whatever. But uh, once you get past that, the rest of the stealth and the way that you can use it is great. Lights out. For the puzzles this time around, without actually counting them, I would say that there are less than in the first game. However, the mix of time you're going to be spending is about the same. The way that they're handled this time around, and that they're bigger in scale, they're more intricate, and uh, and for me, they were more fun. Now, the big new thing for Uncharted 2 is that there is online play this time, both versus and co-op. Uh, for versus play, you get a whole lot of stuff. You have like team deathmatch, and you have elimination, and you have, uh, you know, capture the treasure, which is basically capture the flag. What's awesome is that the gameplay you get in the single player game translates perfectly to online. So you can climb the environment and go up to the roof or you can hide behind stuff and take cover and all that. So what you learn to do in the single player translates perfectly over to multiplayer. And if you use it well, it will give you a huge advantage. Now, along with versus, there's also the co-op mode, which is not going straight through the story. Uh, but what it is are, are kind of uh, offset pieces uh, taken from the story 
and kind of given a, a different goal. And you can play this with up to two other people, so you can have three people in these. Even on easy, co-op is not easy. Uh, it is very, very hard many times, but uh, they are very intricate, they're very long, they're very, very fun, especially because they're difficult. And uh, I, I don't imagine you beating all of them very, very soon, which is really cool because it gives you a lot of challenge to go in and play them again. Overall, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves is a fantastic game. It's a great single player experience with very, very few flaws. The online is super fun, both versus and co-op. Uh, and basically it's a game that will, you know, give you 10 hours or so of single player and then possibly hundreds of hours online, depending on, you know, how long you want to get in there and find treasures and kill people. So anybody with the PlayStation 3 absolutely must play this. Not that you weren't going to anyway. For the full written review, climb on over to IGN.com.